A major agriculture company is spending millions to expand production, and that means a big economic boost for the city of Chesapeake. Ten on your side's Chris Horn has the announcement from the State of the City Address. Mayor Rick West and City Manager Chris Price talked about economic development, especially in the Volvo Parkway corridor. And they had a major announcement from a company that's already here and wants to expand in Chesapeake. Purdue Agribusiness will invest nearly $60 million in its facility near the Jordan Bridge. It's in the South Norfolk section of Chesapeake. Although it will create no new jobs, the expansion will make the company more efficient at processing soybeans and soybean oil for the food industry and biodiesel. Mayor Rick West visited the plant recently and was impressed. And I realized from that, that uh, uh, visit the amazing things that they can do with the soybean and how important that is. Meanwhile, the city manager says he wants to promote the city as a workplace of the future, but says Chesapeake still has challenges. And high turnover in public safety, 50% um, vacancy in our 911 dispatch center at some points throughout the year, in um, our solid waste team. So core, core services to the community. That, that's been a challenge. And the Summit Point area along Volvo Parkway remains a catalyst for retail, residential, and light commercial development. And not just activate that front portion along Volvo Parkway, but to take the entire property um, for future economic development opportunities. So you're going to see a huge amount of economic development wins um, in the future. Price also talked about curbside recycling. He said the city is getting out of that business because it was too costly and inefficient and wasn't functioning the way it was designed. Too much goes into the blue bins that's not recyclable. It's, it's trash. And so at the end of the day, almost 50% of what goes in the blue bins is either sent to the landfill anyway or burned. In fact, City Manager Price says he's confident that curbside recycling could resume here in Chesapeake. He's already in talks with private companies to make it happen. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.